Good morning everybody. Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates here. Welcome to my channel. I sure hope you can hear me. I'm a little bit further away. I have the fan going. I have the AC going. Um, and I am, of all things, perched on a step stool. <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts. I don't know. Why am I perched on a step stool, you ask? It's because we moved. We got a new little desk um, and put it in our bedroom. Um, and move my desktop down there because I am working on my desktop a whole lot more um, than I had been and I will explain that in another video probably over the weekend I'm hoping I'll be ready to talk about it but anyway um, I could only work up here you know a couple of hours before I had sweat dripping down my back <laughs> so Anyway, that means the only thing to sit on up here are either our extra kitchen ta kitchen chairs, which are, we have one of those like bar height tables. So we have bar height chairs or this step stool. And I can't even like sit on the top. Well, I guess I could, but I'm kind of squinched and I'd have to do this. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how long this lasts. I don't have a whole lot to share today as far as stitching is concerned, as far as news is concerned. I did get so many goodies in the mail this week that I wanna share with you. Um, the generosity just, as always, just amazes me. So, give love, get love is happening here. And I can't, I can't even put into words how much it means to me. I keep forgetting to bring my little give love, get love thing over. But for you, it's just a break in the video, and here I am again. Give love, get love. It's real, and it happens. And every time I go to the mailbox and there's a package that I'm not expecting, I'm just amazed. So thank you to all of you. Anyway, on with the show. News, not a whole lot. Like I said, Mike is currently in Maryland for work, um, so I have a week of batching it. Um, can be a good thing, not necessarily. I don't like being without him um, and it's not just because he does all the cooking it just gets kind of you know after being home all day by myself it's fun when he comes home to have somebody to talk to although, although of course I spend like all day talking to you guys online on various places um, but yeah so I will enjoy it for a while and then I'm sure by Thursday I'm gonna be like ready for him to come home but we'll manage um not a whole lot not else happening yep 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 stitching and doing other stuff I'm not going to talk about yet um I did have some information provided to me by Kim Mackley she after our discussion about Readly on Wednesday, last Wednesday, for, during my um, flip through of the Cross Stitcher magazine, she messaged me and showed me. Uh, she put up a short video on YouTube on how she customizes the assistive touch feature in iOS devices to make taking screenshots easier. And that's what she uses, a screenshot. Instead of the save image function, she uses a screenshot whenever she has anything from a magazine that she wants to save. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes doing a screenshot on an iPad and on the, the iPhones for that matter can be kind of fiddly. Um, actually, I find my, that I usually am taking screenshots when I don't mean to. Like, I'm putting my phone, I'm turning my phone off and putting it down, and I'll do a screenshot of like the lock screen. I mean, I have so many of those type of photos in my, in my photo library all the time that I have to de delete, it's so annoying. But anyway, um, very interesting information. So she, she shows how she uses the assistive touch feature Sorry, had to stop the video because a cat decided to get in the litter box. Kitties, she must have known I wanted company. Anyway, so she, um, Kim shows in her video 
different ways that she uses the assistive touch feature as well. So it's, it's very good information. I will be putting the link to that video below. Kim, thank you so much. That is, that is very helpful. Um, that's really all the news I have. I haven't been watching like any floss tube for the week. Um, yet now that Mike's gone, I hope that my time, of course I'm spending so much time on the computer doing other things and I find it hard to watch floss tube, um, while I'm concentrating on what I'm doing on the computer. So yeah, I haven't really watched much floss tube. Um, and my friend flies home this morning, actually at noon um, is when her flight leaves. So everybody send good traveling vibes. She's, she's not looking forward to this and I don't blame her at all. It's gonna be, it's gonna be quite, a, quite a hassle um, just getting on the plane, let alone the, the long trip across the country. Um, so yeah, send good vibes, send up prayers, send up, you know, for, a comfortable as comfortable as possible and as quick as possible a, a flight um, as she can get because um, she's been looking forward to just getting home but she's been dreading the flight so send out all that positive energy to, to Anne as she gets on board the airplane today all right I think that's about it as far as newsy type stuff is concerned what have I been working on so over the weekend, so I did, I worked on patchwork right on my Friday um, Stitch With Me video, and I just continued with it over the weekend. So on the video, I was working on this motif at the top. I was able to get that done on Friday. Then I started Actually, then I did this. This is her popcorn. This is Mrs. Seda silk. This is antique white linen, 36 count. I am working with one strand of silk over two threads. So this over here, I did this motif next. That is her popcorn colorway. And then I did this motif here, finished up this one and finished up that one. I am thrilled with how it's looking so far. I, I, I couldn't put it down. I really enjoyed working with it over the weekend. Now, my plan is, all right, so, Patchwork by Jan Hauptmann. I am actually going to stand here so I can point and show you this and not kill my back. All right, so, these are the ones that I've got finished over the weekend, right? And this is the popcorn one. My plan is tentatively to use her variegated threads kind of as breaks or transitions to the next set of colors. So I'm gonna be doing this one in popcorn as well because it has the pinks and purples and, and some of it's more like of a creamy, creamy white, creamy pink, but I'm gonna use it here as well. And what I've done- So here is popcorn. So you can see it transitions among, amongst a bunch of colors, pinks and purples and blues. What I've actually done on that one motif is cut out the pinks and purples and used that and didn't use the turquoise. I may use that later in the piece for the transition to, to the blues. So that is what that looks like with just cutting out those colors for the most part. So I want to use that down here on this piece as well. These are the ones I have done, right? And then I will be moving on to these four motifs here. One, two, three, four. And these ones that have two colors, I'm still, I'm just gonna use the single color. I'm not gonna mix up the colors within the motifs. Pinks and purples. This purple has so much red in it, when I put it with the other purples, it just didn't seem to work. So these are my next set of colors. 
and what I'm going to do, you can see this is a very dusty kind of mauve, and then we get kind of brighter and clearer up to the purple. So that dusty one, I am going to start, so this is going to be popcorn, right? So that dustier mauve I'm gonna do down here, and then this will be the brighter pinks here, and then that will be the purple, and it will be next to the popcorn up here. So the dustier mauve will be underneath, well, you have that kind of long, long motif coming down here that will be the popcorn and the dustier mauve is going to be sitting in here more. So it's going to be up against these which are more dusty. And then getting brighter as we get up here to the brighter colors, the brighter red. And then the purple will be sitting over here and there is some of that in the popcorn. The only, my only concern with this purple is um, the next colors then are getting into the oranges. And my next variegated to provide the transition is this one. This is Supernova. Look how pretty that is. So it'll be like these together. So that doesn't necessarily work. But like I said, this purple, if you look at my other purples here, she doesn't have a whole lot of purples yet in her line. So there's not a good, you know, the purples are transitioning from the blues. So these are these are very much ah, bluer purples. Well, that might work over there, huh? I don't know. I'm gonna have to see. I'll have to play with it a bit. So I worked on that, like I said, all weekend. And then come about Sunday evening, my fractal started calling to me again. So this is the fractal bookmark, for those of you that may not have seen it. Free March pattern from Cross Stitch Collectibles. Every month they do offer a new free bookmark and the previous ones are not available. And what they do is take out um, the center of one of their fractals. They have a ton of fractals on their site. Um, and make it into this freebie um, smaller chart. So this is the one from March. I'm just looking at it because it's so pretty. And, um, and I will put the link to the free bookmark. This month's bookmark was very, um, it was blacks and whites, kind of a study in black and white, very stunning. But of course, September 1st is coming and that means a new bookmark will be up. So. Sunday night, this started to call to me. I resisted it because I wanted to get done the motif I was working on on patchwork, which I did. So yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Actually, I think I finished the motif Sunday after I took Mike to the airport and then picked this up, worked on this a little bit Sunday night and then again last night. So working down another diagonal here and yes, I am still just as in love with it. And that's really all the stitching I have to show you this week. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. So, of course, no finishes. Um, I'm gonna turn off my iPad. Um, so I guess we'll move on to goodies. So many goodies. Get my glass out of the way so I don't spill. All right, so first on the list, um, first in the pile, I had placed the order with Silver Needle and got had gotten a, you know most of the order a couple weeks ago, but there was this that was back ordered for summer delivery. I would eventually like to get all the little delivery ones. I think they're so pretty. This is the first one I have so far. So Plum Street Samplers, Summer Delivery. The little sheep gets to ride on the car. So cute. All right, the rest of this is just goodies from people. Um, first and foremost, Judy Stone. 
I had sent Judy, um, you know, back when I had all that Ada to give away and I asked who wanted it, there were there were several of you who um, expressed an interest and I was able to send, I don't know, packages of Ada to, or maybe I'm getting it mixed up with the fabric cuts. Anyways, I had a bunch of, oh, I think I, it was a giveaway. It all blends together, people. Um, Judy won the Ada. Now, Judy had been having trouble with her eyes and um, she was at the point where she could only stitch on Ada, but she didn't have that much of it. She, son she has since had surgery on her eyes and her eyesight is much better now, but I sent her the um, Ada at a time when she was, well actually no, in her note she says she's, her eyes are continuing to degenerate and um, the, the Ada allowed her to stitch a little while <coughs> Excuse me. The Ada allowed her to stitch a little while longer until she was declared legally blind. And then she said she had surgery um, on both of her eyes and the, it, the surgery was successful. Um, so I assume that means that she has some eyesight back again. Um, but as a thankful, as a, as a thank you, for um, me sending her that Ada when she really needed it. She sent me some gifts and not just a few. And yes, I have them all back in their bags because cats. So she sent me, knowing that I am collecting the months, she sent me September and October from the Prairie Schooler, and my plan is to do all of these over one on 28 count, like I'm working on the June one. So in addition to those, she sent, these are all fabrics by Perman, 28 count. We have, shoot, the tag must have fallen off of this one. There was a tag on it. Oh, there it is sticking to something else. Yeah, the stickiness is gone. This is Shell. This is Tumbleweed. And this is Barnwood. Look how gorgeous that is. So these, I mean, absolutely perfect. Perfect for my plan to do over one on all of these months. So Judy, just amazing. She sent me a couple packages of needles, Peacemakers and Bowen. How awesome is that? This, they are both 28 count. Oh, nope, Peace, Peacemakers are beading needles. So that is awesome. And then the Bowen are 28, size 28 needles. She sent me this Autumn Bird by Heart and Hand. He's a super cutie. And you know what I really love? She has Ziploc bags that have Star Wars stuff on them. These are stormtroopers. I've never seen these before. I must live in a hole someplace. I mean, really, those are awesome. Prairie Schooler 2019 Santa. I did not have this one. Thank you. Keeps going. Another Ziploc bag with um, shoot, I forget who this is. One of you can tell me. Love those. Gotta make sure to show Mike when he gets home. Sulky thread in an autumn, one of the autumn variegated sulkies. So pretty. And then thread works. We have three in that autumn color, colorway. And then these creams. All of these are thread works. So pretty. And last but not least, a zipper pull that says joy. And she says, I know you've kind of changed your uh, changed your theme a little bit, but I still believe and find your joy. In fact, I have not forgotten um, my idea to create a cross-stitch chart. And what I might do 
This is the card from Judy. I might take this. Now I can't, of course, use this exact thing, but use this as a theme and have kind of like this kind of sun spray of flowers behind and then see if I can find a nice cursive font and you know do find your joy across it in white. Doesn't that sound like fun? Excuse me. So that is in my brain to do. Judy, thank you. Like I, like I said to you yesterday, you didn't have to send me a thank you gift, but I sure do appreciate it. These things are gorgeous and they'll be put to good use. So, I'm gonna save that goodness for last. The next thing I got was from Jane Rayner. Now, Jane is um, one of our ladies who was one of my giveaway, 5,000 subscriber giveaway givers. <laughs> she is the one who makes scroll rod covers and um, knitting project bags. So she did send me, and she does, I don't know whether she has a Etsy store website. I need to get that information. Setting one up. But anyway, she made me a knitting project bag, since I don't use scroll rods, right? Look how pretty that is. Does she know me? God, look at that fabric. It's gorgeous. And look at that yarn. Is that gorgeous? This is by the company In the Deep Hue C. And the colorways is, oh, it is love. And I have to agree. Look how gorgeous that is. I don't know what I'll use it for. Maybe I'll just pet it. It is a fingering weight. I don't do socks. Who knows? But thank you, Jane. Now, Jane also sent another giveaway. So she sent a scroll rod cover. Oh, it's a scroll rod bag. Okay. So you will, you store your scroll rod in this. I get it now. And I haven't opened this up, but this is um, scroll rod grime guards for when you're actually working on it, right? And I believe it is in this fabric. So that will be a giveaway. I think um, I'm going to save this for my 6,000 subscriber. I actually wasn't going to do, to be totally honest, since I did so much for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway, I actually wasn't going to do a 6,000 one, but I have that now and I have this. So it won't be nearly as big as the 5,000 one. Um, but yeah, so I have a little something, something to give. But like I said, I'm a couple hundred away from 6,000 at this point. So that'll be down the road a bit. All right, last but not least. Oops. The Darling. Absolutely beautiful, wonderfully talented. Raquel, Mrs. Seda Silk. Sent me another amazing package. She had so shown these on Instagram the other day, and I said, that is a, a tree in fall, peak of its colors. So these are all new solids in her store. My understanding is if they're not available, I talked to her last night, if they're not available already, they will go up this week. So we have a really pretty brown. Kind of more grayish, taupish brown. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous green. Look at that. Several really pretty golds. Another red. Look at that red. No, I am not incorporating this into my patchwork. I'm going to incorporate whatever will work. I'm done with reds. <laughs> Another pretty yellow gold. And then look at this. Now you guys know I am not an orange person at all, but look at that orange. That is gorgeous. So yeah, are these, whoops. Oh well, there goes one of the oranges. Fall, right? A maple, a sugar maple. Love it, love it, love it. Hold on. But that's not all. Oh my God. Full skeins of three other. One is her latest um, variegated. It is called Hydrangea. Look at that. Actually, I think those purples in that will work with that purple that I'm not sure where to put it as a transition. Oh my God, that's perfect. And then look at these. These are two more solids. And she sent me the full skeins of them. So one, the lighter one is aqua. The darker one is peacock. I have got to stitch faster. Raquel, but wait, there's more. Raquel also does really, really cool stitch markers. And look, I'm gonna be starting these hades, these big full coverage. I'm gonna be using stitch markers. Look at those. So it looks to me like, I don't know whether they're clay that she's then stamped and embossed and colored. I don't know. But just so pretty. And then on the back, what the, um, what the, the magnet is on, put it back together here. So she has little tiny things. So that one has a crown. And that one has a little kitty. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you. Guys, if you haven't tried Raquel's silks yet, head over to her Etsy shop. It will be in the link below or in the description box below. Head over there and check them out. You will not be sorry. They are. I mean, I've used a lot of the different silks in the industry. I haven't used all of them, but I've used a lot of them. And um, they're some of the nicest silks I've ever worked with. And as Tamara said in her, in her video reviewing these silks, the, the collaboration video, they smell so good. Well, you can see there's very subtle very subtle toning in this light to dark. God, it's so pretty. All right, guys, that's really all I have. So, and since I have sweat pouring down me, <laughs> I'm going to head back downstairs. Guys, I love you. You know it. I, I, I can't put into words what this community means to me and how much I love the way you reach out to me and you reach out to each other. Keep giving that love, guys. And yes, keep finding your joy. It's gonna be a rough week for me. I am not going to lie to you. I hate not having Mike around. There's no way I wanted to go to Maryland. <laughs> so keep reaching out and spreading your joy to me and all around. And I am gonna be working hard this week to keep my joy and to spread love. I love you. I will talk to you guys. Let's see, what do we have in store? Um, tomorrow I have my next 
physical therapy appointment, um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. She got those in the mail. The autumn one went out in the mail yesterday, I believe, maybe today. So pretty. Um, so I'm hoping the digital issue will be up soon and I will be doing a flip through of that when it is up. Probably not tomorrow though. Um, so yeah, Friday stitch with me and then over the weekend, maybe a reveal. Until then, give love, get love. Love you guys. Bye-bye.